Hi. Another row about reparations. The Tory MP for South Dorset is facing demands for reparation, having been revealed that he's inherited control of a plantation in Barbados, where over the centuries, 30,000 slaves perished, worked to death. He also owns 14,000 acres, 125 properties in Dorset alone. And this is probably the tip of the iceberg. This wealth is not only the product of slavery, it also derives from the peasantry, landless labourers and working class of this country, hundreds of thousands of whom met an untimely demise to enrich this family, direct and indirectly. The feudal capitalist system is based on such super exploitation. The victims, slaves or so-called free labourers. The whole system of laws, parliament, monarchy, the House of Laws exists to enforce this. Nevertheless, all this talk about reparations is a waste of breath. Those at the top will never voluntarily return their wealth and will retain their power. It's been an uninterrupted, unbroken system for centuries. It's not about reparation. It should be about revolution and total ex expropriation. So entrenched in power, control is the ruling class that uh, as a microscopic example, Richard Drax MP's real name has the astounding number of free hyphens. He's Richard Grosvenor Plunkett Ernal eerie Drax. Without a revolution, his descendants will probably accumulate more hyphens, wealth, land, power. Richard Drax MP is on the right of the Tory party. Surprise, surprise. Brexiteer, anti-lockdown, anti-immigration, law and order, the whole traditional litany. And to the likes of Drax, a huge swathe of the population grovel and are submissive voting in such creatures last year with a huge majority. Land of dopes and Tories. But for how much longer? Bye.